everyone welcome to tonight's stream tonight we're going to be looking at a few different algorithms um, mainly from the top top list of um, what to my um, so I don't do nice hash because it tends to crash my computer but we'll look at ethereum classic Ravencoin, I did um, Haven Protocol um, on Friday, uh, I was going to do Beam, but my Beam wallet is still updating, um, so I've got to let that run, um, Xano, might do Bitcash and maybe Mimble Wimble Coin, which is Kakatu31. Bitube is Kaku cycle, so we'll have a look at those. Also, Ravencoin and Ethereum Classic. Um, one thing, if you're going to mine Ethereum Classic, um, you are going to run into some problems when you go to exchange it on pools. Um, some pools have stopped stop accepting it. Other pools have. Um, put limitations on how many confirmations you need to um, be able to transfer that coin into Bitcoin. For instance, um, on Coinbase, which is one that I use, exchanging Ethereum Classic now it took from the 2nd of October uh, sorry the 18th of September to the 2nd of October because you have to do 91,000 block confirmations on that transaction before you can use the coin so be careful of that that's what's happening with Ethereum Classic at the moment. So from the 18th of September to the 2nd of October, I can do nothing with that except to sit and wait for the blocks, which is two blocks there, to be converted. To Bitcoin. So just be aware of that. So you may run into problems. Hope everyone can hear me all right. Um, I just had to um, up my volume a bit. Um, so sorry about that. I forgot to do it earlier. But yeah, so watch your block confirmation confirmations with Ethereum Classic. Um, as when you come to the pools, they may ask for 91,000 confirmations on that. So, that's Ethereum Classic there. So, how do we go about mining Ethereum Classic? Well, let's go over here and have a look at some of the pools. Um, if we go to their GitHub page, you can see their information on their web page. Um, and their fairly good to mine except for the fact that you need 91 block 91,000 block confirmations so where are we so we want to look at the ecosystem apps and protocols we know exchanges where to buy we know that wallets so that's one thing you're going to need
So you can get web wallet. So you can get my crypto, my ether wallet, Portis is Square Link. Now you can use Brave Browser with its integrated wallets, MetaMask, Nifty Wallet, sorry, uh, motorbikes around here are a pain in the neck, Opera and Saturn Wallet. Hardware wallets, Bitski, Coolbix, Alipal, HTC Exodus, Ledger Wallet, Parity Signer, SafePal, Sig Signatory Client and Trezor. Now, I actually have the Zalcor wallet, that's the one that I use. Um, for most of my coin um, I find it very reliable and very easy to use so as you can see there are all the assets there if you can't find an asset you just click on that button there and it'll give you three options and you just click on assets and then it'll show you all the assets for that um, so I actually need to open my Zalcor wallet. So once you've downloaded it, it will come up like this. So it'll come up like this. Sorry, I forgot I had my cam on. Um, so it'll come up like this once it's ready um, give me a few minutes whilst I just put my username and password in frozen so there we go so that's his alcohol wallet as you can see um, I'm sorry um, I forgot to change the screens before but uh, we're looking on what to mine to see what they're top coins are so we can show you how to mine them today um, so I'm running actually three of these um, but I put four in because it's close to my actual hash rate um, I take off power hit calculate so give it a second so this is what you get so ethereum's the top one I've already shown you how to mine ethereum before so no need to do that one ethereum classic is the one I'm going to show you now then we'll do ravencoin I did a haven protocol on Thursday Alaism is exactly the same as ethereum classic I was going to do beam today but um it's kind of um backlogged so it's still got two hours and eighteen minutes before it syncs with the blockchain again. 
and opens my wallet so yeah I don't think I'm going to get around to that today um, but I will show you how to mine a few of these coins Alleyism is exactly the same as mining Ethereum Classic same with Pearl same with Ethergem, Etho1 I will do Xano um, Expanse is the same I will show you how to use do bit tube cash or tube as it's called ubic is ubic hash now i will show you how to do um member wimble coin it's a mouthful um so yeah um so i'll do these two first and then i'll do xano and then I will show you bit cheap cash if I've got time. Um, so let's get stuck in Ethereum Classic. As you can see, I've got the Zalcor wallet. Uh, where do I put it? There. So you're going to need Ethereum Classic address, which is ETC for short. So you'll click on receive once you open your Zelcor wallet and all you do is click to copy. It's copied it across to the thing. So now you're going to need a miner. Um, I've already been in here so go to wherever you've downloaded the miner from and um, I'm actually using uh, ETH proxy miners now I mine my ETC because I've got enough hash rate I can solo mine it so for me I run this proxy server and basically all the proxy server does is it reduces latency between your miner which for me I use um, Phoenix miner so in in that um, so yeah, uh, at present my wallet's playing up a bit so I don't know what's going on with it but anyway um, I actually found this um, on YouTube um, I was looking up Ethereum proxy oh. and type this in now this is where I got it this was originally put out by Lee from iMind blocks so Guys. that's Lee there that's his video now this is the link to the proxy miner um, I will copy the link and I will paste it To where are we? Um, might switch live streams. So I'll put it in here and I'll have this. If 
if you want to use it I'll put the link in here so that's the link there great big huge thing um, so I'll put this in description and um, put that in after the show so you can see that so that's Lee from I Mind Blocks this was done in April 2016 by him now this link still works as you can see I still run multiple copies of it so basically what you need to do is you put in the coin that you're going to be mining it has to be an ethereum coin ethereum based coin so eth hash coin so etc expanse um, ethereum um, ether gem um, alarism pearl any one of those you can put in put in there so you get get there um, um, short name like ETC and ETH for ETH EXP for expanse now as you go down here you'll see host 127.0.0.1 you leave that alone you don't touch it same with the port 8080 you leave that alone now what you're going to need to do is change your address here so that's what you change in there then as you go down you don't have to worry about to donate because you're going to be mining for yourself enable worker id true you want to enable your worker identification um, so then you go down it says you can monitor your your rig i have it at false because it'll send you an email every time your miner goes down okay so and then you put in where you're mining for me i'm mining on s1 solo pool.org 8011 is the port address failover pools now these um, are usually europe asia us sometimes us east and us west um, so you put them in here for me i just put s1 solo pool.org and it just reboots if it if the miner goes offline for a few seconds um, so that'll reboot it so that's basically your ethereum proxy server set up so all you do to activate it is double click on there all, all you do is save that information just click save don't bother save as just save now this is your proxy server coming up now i'm already running a proxy server at the moment so I've got to shut that down along with with Phoenix Miner because I'm actually mining ETH. So now it should come back up. So it has. All good for that. So now you'll want Phoenix Miner is the best one I've found for for using with this so 
as you can see there are a whole heap of different coins and different places that you can mine on here now I have mine my start for, for this um, set up so you'll have your miner your pool which isn't actually a pool it's actually your um, ethereum proxy server so that 127.0.0.1 you put a http colon forward slash forward slash then 127.0.0.1 then a colon again then 8080 and then you've put a forward slash and your worker name now if you're going to be solo mining um, you adjust your get work time I have mine set to a rate of 100 that's 100 milliseconds rate 1 now because I'm running two RX 470s in my PC my general tuning for both of these is 40 to get shares so that's how I have it set up and all you do once you've got that you save it as whatever you want in Phoenix Miner and then to start it double click it now if you're running multiple instances of the um, Ethereum proxy miner okay if you're running multiple oh I've got to restart the um, restart this so I've got to go up to here now it should work out yep it's working fine now I failed over before because of what I was doing so now we go back up to Phoenix Miner go back down to here after we've set it all up now once you have your miner set up for this if you're running multiple instances of the proxy server you can use phoenix miner over and over and over again for that same application you leave it's set to 127.0.0.1 and port 8080 and all you change is your addresses in the um, your mining pools and the port number on your coins that you're mining and all and that's basically it so that you leave set up I could use it on multiple instances, say for Pearl, for Expanse, it's all set up for it, I don't have to change it, I just have to double click on it and it'll run, as you can see it's already up and running, so click to copy now you want to go to the pool so just look up 
BTC silo pool for me. Sorry, big fingers. So Ethereum Classic Solo Pool. Now I know I've already been on here, so all I have to do is paste my wallet address in, hit enter. There we go. Now it will take a while for your hash rate to come up. Um, as you can see it's on 20 mega hash at the moment. Now I'm actually, if you look at my actual hash rate, when I find my miner, my phoenix miner should be somewhere around here. Let me have a look. What is it? So, my Phoenix Miner, my actual hash rate is 88.24 mega hash at the moment, and that's at the pool. So, I'm actually down on my hash rate at present because I am. Um, currently streaming and I've got my second monitor on as well so that takes my hash rate down so GPU 2 is the one that I stream from GPU 1 is the one that I have on here but my hash rates drop um, because because I'm streaming and I'm using both um, GPUs to um, to do the processing but you will notice it's saying 41 milliseconds 30 milliseconds 42 milliseconds right for my shares to be submitted to the to the pool which is latency from from this so as you can see my hash rates fallen a bit now shares submitted to this seven milliseconds so every time you submit shares it's taking seven milliseconds to submit those shares or five milliseconds or three milliseconds to submit shares to the pool so your lag is uh, sorry your latency to the pool is actually less than actually running phoenix miner straight to the pool your miner has to work harder and it overworks as you can see my temperatures are 59, uh, 56 and 53 C which is Celsius um, one GPU always runs at 112 watts I don't know why um, but the temperatures will go up on this uh, I am submitting shares to the pool um, so yeah um, As you can see, shares being submitted there. Um, as you can see, I've had one block from Solo Pool. I've had one block from um, Alt Pool as well, but I changed to Solo Pool um, because I found that Solo Pool I was getting more shares. So now, if you look at the miners on here you can see a full list of everyone who's mining on on here for ETC there's not many you go to two miners I find I get half the shares so you've got Taylor 33 miners and 85 workers on here in total so that's not too bad um, if you go to um, say um, 
two minus pull, you've got over a hundred and fifty minus and workers you've got over over a thousand workers on there. So sometimes it's better to go for the smaller pools, spread your hash rate around a bit and um, it can work out for you. Excuse me whilst I have a drink of coffee. So this is Ethereum Classic. Um, as you can see my share rate's going up. I'm at 45% personal luck. Um, so yeah, um, luck plays a large part in this. And um, you will see if you solo mine. We don't recommend solo mining. No one recommends solo mining because you may never find a block. And that is your, your ultimate reward for mining solo. Your, uh, after that block reward all your shares you don't you don't get diddly squat for you get nothing f for a share you have to mi actually mine a block to be able to get get a reward when you're solo mining Unlike pool mining, where every share you you submit, you get you get paid for. So, solo mining, you get nothing until you submit a block, and then you get that block reward. So I was at forty five percent when I last mined. on here so you can see that that I am online it doesn't show my worker name for some unknown reason I haven't figured that out yet why but it doesn't show my worker name on here But, um, yeah, so I'm just using this for an example at the moment. As you can see, my hash rate's up to 53.3 mega hash. Um, and my actual hash rate is 58.82. So it's going up, up to 60 mega hash now, with that last share submitted. Um, so yeah, it's slowly going up, as you can see, up to 46% from 45. So. I might be able to mine a block today of Ethereum, but I doubt it. Usually it takes a day after you start mining to find a block, but you could be lucky and get one five minutes after you start mining. Um, this is why we say that um, it's not recommended to mine solo mining and you may never get a block um, when I was on two miners I spent three and a half days and I was uh, at that stage it was supposed to be two and a half days to get a block on average 
and I was at a hundred and hundred and twelve or a hundred and hundred and fourteen percent and rising and I still didn't get a block reward so I swapped to alt pool um, it took me two and a half days because the um, difficulty rose on the pool so that meant that the um, it meant that the time it takes to get a block also rose to three days and something like five hours this was be the beginning of this short bull run we had due to DeFi um, and um, and the gas prices that went up so I was mining during that that time and as you saw on my Coinbase account I had two blocks sitting there awaiting 90,000 confirmations so I could swap them over so again you have to be lucky to score a block so that's Ethereum Classic um, that's how I mine it um, I also have um, a mining rig on here FA or did I put it on? Oh yes I did. Sorry people. Give me a second whilst I um log into my account so Google Authenticator Okay, so this is my farms. Um, this is my miner that I have running at the moment. This is still mining Ethereum, by the way, not Ethereum Classic. This is Hive OS, which is a Linux based operating system for mining. Now, setting this up is really quite straightforward so you go up to here you create once you've logged in and you've got your miner set up um, usually on a thumb drive um, you go to wallets now you create a wallet as you can see I've got quite a few wallets in here um, including my UTC wallet as you can see I've got been mining some some on pool as well as on on the others so once you've set up your wallets 
which is quite simple. I'll pull it up just to show you. It comes up like this. Um, so you want to fetch wallet balance. That'll give you what you have left on the pools. So, and just click. This is where you'll put your wallet address in from your Cellcore wallet or whichever wallet you're using. Um, and then you'll put the wallet name in, which is ETC wallet for me. Um, makes it easy. Then you will want to create a flight sheet. Now, flight sheets are easy. You put in the coin. So you put in ETC, you click down here, it'll give you your ETC wallet, you'll select your pool. So for me, it's solo pool. Um, now you've got three difficulty ranges here. Now, low difficulty is for the older style GPUs. Um, mid difficulty is for um, the latest GPUs and then you have high difficulty which is for the ASICs that mine on on Ethereum and Ethereum Classic so bear that in mind they do have it so you'll click on there apply then you'll select your miner now Phoenix miner it's quite simple to set up as you can see you can put extra config ar arguments in here um, I usually just put GW time one hundred right one and that will set up your miner so you're all set now to go and mine on pool with the Phoenix miner from here but I'm not going to do that I'm not I've already got a flight sheet set up so I will just reset that to zero as you can see I've already got it set up I have it set up um, right here with Phoenix Miner and it's also mining Monero as well at the same time using two different miners so one rig th three GPUs and this here is the two CPU cores that it's using now that's basically it for that then you go back over here click on here now you'll go to your flight sheets here and all you do is find your ETC now for me it's this one no that's lol minor it's this one here you'll click on that little rocket and it will automatically start mining ETC So if you look at this, it's all set up already. Now I've got my worker set up. I actually need to edit this because I changed my GPUs around. So set up minor. So I've got to put that at 40. And 
at it nine for my general tuning. Now I've got two RX 550s in here, so they're AMD cards, two RX 550s and one for RX 470. Um, and these are all the RX 470 are mining editions. The RX 550s are actually four gig cards. They're not the um, um, what do you call it? The two gig variant. So that gives me actually between my PC and this it actually gives me 126 mega hash in total on the pool when I'm running both same with Ethereum 126 mega hash because my overclocks on these cards um, my RX 550s get 13 point 13.6 and 13.7 and my RX 470 on Hive OS gets um, around best idea is to show you um, so that's the one that I'm currently mining with so I'm getting 85.2 at the moment my average is 68 but if on here you can see it's 13.58 13.77 and 32.40 are my hash rates my temperatures are 63 64 and 60 um, because um, my first two cards are my RX 550s and they're both single fan and the coolers aren't the best on them whereas the RX 470 comfortable 56 degrees and it mines like that all day all night never stops and as you can see temperatures on my CPU where I'm getting 354.3 and 362.6 both both of those threads are working 38 degrees is that's 38 degrees C that my CPU is at but I do have a water, an all-in-one water cooler on on that and that's a a10 7700 7700 processor uh, I'm not sure if it tells you yet yeah, down here a 4 by AM10 a AMD A10 7700 it has an R7 graphics card built into it so it's 10 cores in total but you can only use the four cores the four four threads so and as you can see that's all the information on it including my overclocks As you can see, it's running at 121 watts with 1276 on the core. Um, um, that's the DPM and 2200 on the memory clock. Um, memory clock status 2 and a refresh rate of 50. So that gets me 32.4 mega hash on these. Now, my RX 470, being a mining edition, is already set up for mining Ethereum. 
so it's right at home doing that that sort of work um, I've got um, two switches on the back of the card that I can change um, so I can change for different algorithms and also for gaming so I just flip those little switches um, and it will do that so that's all set up for mining ethereum at present and is hashing away very nicely with 2449 shares accepted no no stales and no um, no um, rejects same with my XMR rig it again is at a hundred percent and it has 2701 shares accepted and it's doing seven seven hundred and fourteen point six hashes a second or 720 now um, so and that's on Monero or XMR so that's running perfectly fine so we'll go back to the silo pool as you can see back down to 45.73 now the algorithms the way they work um, they vary in, in intensity so when you're mining you'll get shares a lot of shares all of a sudden and then you'll drop off a bit then it'll pick up again you'll get more shares drop off again and it'll continuously do that as you're mining um, so don't worry about it as you can see where I've been mining on here I've been up as high as 100, 183 and as low as oh, it doesn't show me 97.59 there 88.02 so 85.47 so you can expect lulls in the amount of shares that you get um, so yeah other than that that's how easy it is to set up um, as you can see we've got nine and ten shares on here um, largest share found is 48.9 giga hash so that's the size of the share that has nothing to do on whether you're going to get a block on that share um, it just means that's that's the size of the the share that you found it's nothing to do with if there's a block in there or not it's just the size of the share so that's mining away perfectly fine um, you can also see on here still submitting shares last one was up here so all you've done by running this ETH proxy server is reduce your latency between your miner and what you're sending to the pool your miner's actually doing the work it's supposed to be do, doing at the speed it's supposed to be doing it you're not getting that latency of 30 to 40 milliseconds that it takes to send the work back to the pool after you've got a share um, so you're working a lot smoother 
because the latency between your miner and your proxy server is reduced quite significantly. Also, your proxy server gets work from the pool, holds it, as you can see, when it's submitting shares, uh, sorry, when it's hashing through the hashes, you'll notice that not every single time will the um, new job from main pool move. So it will still keep hashing and doing its calculations continuously and what's happening is the proxy server is getting work from the pool holding it for the miner to do its calculations the miner does its calculations if it finds a share it says hey I found a share if not it just <coughs> continues on until it finds the next share so that's what happens with with the proxy server it just reduces latency between the miner and the pool no, sorry between the miner and the proxy server the proxy server does all the work by collecting shares from the pool holding them for the miner the miner then does its calculations sends back its calculations if it finds a share so, and the um, proxy server submits that work to the pool then So basically your miner's just doing what it's supposed to be doing. There's no latency involved in the mining from the miner to the proxy server. Um, so yeah, it's... quite a bit more effective. So that's, that's a Ethereum classic anyway, and how, how to mine it using proxy server um, as you can see the pool just refreshed which it does every now and again so we'll stop this now and we'll move on to the next one on what to mine so Ravencoin for me works out two dollars thirty a day that I get reward if I mine Raven coin. So if you try to solo mine it, um, you go to two crypto calc. Now two crypto calc this gives me 126 mega hash exactly so ethereum classic four days and 22 hours at present so nine months and two weeks for to solo mine nine months two weeks and four days actually to solo mine an ethereum block this is why we do not recommend it. Z Classic, 1 hour and 27 minutes, 46 seconds. For 0.78 Z, Z Classic. Um, Cortex, 7 hours and 25 minutes. Again, 62 cents. These are all in US. Now, Ravencoin, if you want to solo mine it, it's worth 64.31 US dollars and it will take you one month and three days approximately to mine that block Z coin is worth 2414 it'll take you one one week and six days two hours to mine a block um, Pearl they say 50 minutes um, when I was on mining Pearl, I got 200, 250 in 24 hours. 
um, and I was getting um, so 250 in 24 hours that's four pearl per block so point zero uh, sorry six cents per pearl block so this is where you work it out now if you go to um, average block time and you look down your list it will give you from the shortest possible time all the way down to if you try to mine Zcash with your GPUs with 126 mega hash it will take you 33 years one month and three weeks to find a Zcash block again 18 years for, for Nervos four years for Horizon and as you can see it goes down two months two weeks and five days for Komodo one month one week and one day for Bitcoin Gold, Ravencoin, one month and three days to find a block. And for Ravencoin, yes, I, I would try it um, because you never know, you might get lucky. You might have a bit of luck on your side and you may get a block early. I've had, I've had a block at 15% um, before, so you can solo mine it with my hash rate but just be aware of the time it's going to take to find a block and the rewards can be good as you can see 885 at the moment um, when I started solo mining Ethereum the block reward was um, without gas 2.37 ETH with gas reward you could, you could get as much as 12 Ethereum per block as your block reward that's with the gas fees on top so these are the calculators that I use to determine whether it's wise or not to mine coins and with my hash rate I can solo mine and and do quite often so I use two four eighties and two five nineties because it gives me my almost my exact hash rate whereas if I put two of these two four seventies it either but it drops me down to about 118 mega hash so 126 is about right for me that's why I put two five nineties and two four eighties in there and as you can see now there are a few coins that you can't mine with four gig cards including Ethereum Classic, Cortex, Eternity can cannot mine with 4 gig cards but um, LOL Miner has just come out with a new um, A new new miner the latest version of it and they put in a fix so you can continue to mine till the end of the year on Ethereum Classic and on Ethereum with four gig cards sorry my main monitors on its way out um, so you'll hear that that crackling sound I've got to get a new monitor because 
my actual PC is down. I'm actually on my laptop at the moment. Um, the only thing I can do on my PC is actually mine on it. Um, I can't do anything else. So, yeah. But that's beside the point. Um, so, we're going to look at Ravencoin now. So, to mine Ravencoin, you look down on here, click on there. So, it's saying 46 mega hash. I actually get more than that. Um, and that's silo mining calculator so you get nothing per hour per day or per week every 30 days you should get a block maybe um, I've seen them run over to 250 percent before so this is your pool mining calculator this is telling you that you sh should be getting six I should be getting six point three three nine one six three Raven which is the equivalent of about eight cents an hour in one day that's a hundred and fifty two point one which is a dollar ninety six a week 1064 so that's 1370 in 30 days 4564 7.16 which is 5871 per month mining on the pool so 64 so 30 days for 58 and one block per month which do you think I'm going to go for the higher reward of course so now find your pools you go right the way to the bottom here it gives you the your solid your um, two miners PPLNS is paper last ninth share solo is solo mining again solo pool is solo mining so what we do is we go to our wallets again I have Ravencoin already set up in my wallet as you can see I've got a dollar thirteen of it I don't do a lot of Raven mining so you'll go in here click on that click on receive and you'll click on that and that's your mining address that you want to mine to so then you go up you find um, just trying to think where it, which miner I use for Raven I think it's G minor from the top of my head. Um, so yeah. Yep, so you click on this bat file, you click on edit. So, as you can see, it's pretty much already set up for you. Um, I 
I do use ravenminer.com as the pool. Um, I find it quite good. Click on paste for your wallet address, which I already have in here. Click file. Now, with because these are pre pre made batch files, all you have to do is click on them and save. You don't have to unless you change the actual pool that you're mining to. PC's being slow at the moment. So you'll go in here, click on here, you'll set it up as they say there. So you'll have your US, your EU, your Asia, and you just copy and paste that into. where you want so once you've done all that and you've got it all set up like I do you'll go back to your miner you'll double click on your miner <coughs> excuse me dry throat today now it'll take a few seconds to pull up and start oh miner has stopped working close the program so looks like we might have a problem with that that one so we might have to create another one So it's a case of doing that. As you can see, different. Again. Again, save because they're pre made files, you don't have to do anything, then you just click, and hopefully, this will pull up. this by the looks of it yeah mine has stopped working okay so we'll have to have a look at one of the alternative miners from the pool um, I know Link, see what this says. Um, yeah, that doesn't help me. Um, I'm trying to 
trying to think of where what other Raven miners there are. I know there are several several around. Um, um, G miners. One of them, NVIDIA links, nice hash mining rig rentals. Um, I'll have a look in my set up. See what else um, oh, there we go. So you can run NB Miner also click on this edit three eight eight. So we go back to here three eight eight three uh, three eight three eight. So we can close that three eight three eight. So they've changed it from this to EU Raven Miner, that's why it failed. File, save, and then that's what, that's what the difference was. And then you just double click on Raven and it'll come up now and start working with a bit of luck. There we go. Pays to read what I'm I'm doing. As you can see, I make mistakes too, um, and it takes a bit of time to work them out. So now that's up and running. I can copy this now. Close that. Close that back down. As you can see, it's collecting shares. So you'll want to go to wallet. Paste in your wallet address. And it'll come up. Like so. So it's showing up on the network already my worker is Mick it's running NB minor version 30.2 it's got no password and it's 51 51 seconds up time so far and all you wait for is for your hash rate to pick up and it will take a few minutes to do um, and you will see that it says update every 10 minutes so that's that's how long it takes before you will see anything on the pool um, so 10 minutes before your hash rate pulls up and before everything's up and running so yeah um, that's
that's basically it. Um, I find Raven Miner pool quite good as well. Um, as you can see up here, they they have a payout schedule. So 1517 and it's 1415 at the moment. So in about an hour's time will be their next payout. You can see my hash rate at present 13.2 mega hash. But that will still grow. Um, yeah, so I'll put all all the links for these in the description after the show so as you can see getting quite a few good shares there what I actually like to do is bring it over to here put my miner here and drop it down to this size still see everything that's going on and you can see the shares that, it, that you're getting on on the pool so as I was saying before using a proxy server the latency between the pool and and submitting your shares have a look at the milliseconds 58 40 48 573 milliseconds so this is why I run a proxy server for Ethereum it reduces that latency time between the miner and the pool whereas this is working harder now to get get the shares back to the pool so you've got that latency there again um, that's why I use the proxy server it reduces the latency between the miner and and the um, the miner and the um, proxy server and the proxy server is doing all the work not the miner the miner is just doing its calculations sending the work uh, sending the shares back to to the proxy server. The proxy server is doing all the work. And not your miner. So we're getting shares. Um, fair amount of shares. We're up to 21.7 mega hash on the pool which isn't too bad and it's still climbing so it'll take 10 minutes before your shares show up on the on the pool when they start showing up um, they'll, your 20, 24 hour earnings and then your last 20 earnings it'll show up in here first and then it'll show up in here so you let this run um, and if you're like me you'll save these in your bookmark toolbar so you can always come back to them say ethereum becomes unprofitable to mine and ravencoin comes up to the top of the list bang you've got your pool set up you've got your miner set up already um, so there you go it's all set up um, I'll just go in and fix up my G miner now um, where was it um, it was here So, no, that was set right. So why didn't it work? Oh, I know why. 
um, with Raven coin you've got to be careful um, if you're running AMD cards that's what I forgot to tell you um, G minor doesn't work it's Nvidia only um, so you've got to use um, is it nano nano minor I'm using or NB minor sorry so you've got to use NB minor <coughs> that's what I forgot so I'm still learning I still forget things I've done so many different algorithms over the last two years it's not funny and there's still a lot that I am learning um, doing this so yeah it's quite fun to do for me I enjoy tinkering with computers um, and um, things like that um, I will also say that we are well I am affiliated with Overclockers UK um, so if you're in Europe or the UK and you want to um, get your hands on some computer parts like I need to um, then this is this is the la one of the largest suppliers of computer components in the UK uh, they have a mess massive warehouse near me over at Newcastle Underline um, and they have a good stock of everything um, graphics cards are hard to come by at the moment um, especially the 5700 series you'll find most of them out of stock except for the power colours the red devils and the um, uh, probably the only ones that you'll find in stock most people steer away from them because they have micron memory which is um, I have two power color RX 550s red dragons um, and they get 13 mega hash at the best um, mining so yeah but at the time it's all I could afford now I've got three RX 470s which when I bought the 470s they were 73 pounds a piece the price has jumped dramatically since since that bull run started by Defy with all the gas prices and it's pushed them up to 199 pounds again now um, these aren't the cards that I've got these are the earlier model but they've kept kept the image of the earlier model um, so these these are similar to mine except for these don't have a, a port for um, for your monitor whereas the ones that I have have a DVI port for your monitor And they run really well mining as you can see my hash rates down on my second card because I am um, live streaming so yeah for your parts this is the place to come for me um, they're not far from me it usually takes a day to two days they do accept Bitcoin as payment um, they also accept credit cards and PayPal and Amazon payments and you can also do your own do finance through them 
um, you can have your own PCs I'll have a link in the description um, there's also a link on my main page um, on my twitch account that you can click on there it takes you to overclockers UK if you want to buy parts um, as I said I am affiliated with them so you can do PCs you can do gaming laptops you can do virtual reality gaming as you can see gaming bundles they've got noble chairs um, they've got streaming bundles um, esports clothing and merchandise gaming mugs t-shirts posters you name it they've got a lot um, so yeah um, they are really good so we're up to point zero nine raven at the moment so that's my pending balance right here and we're up to 13.5 mega hash at present and that's just running to RX 470s um, as you can see that's my last 24 hour earnings so that's immature that's got six confirmations to go before that clears So, minimum payout is five Raven coin on this pool, which isn't too bad. I usually get that in about two hours. Well, I usually get about 10 or 15 in two hours um, when I'm mining with both both my um, my PC and my um, mining rig so yeah it's not too bad um, I'm sorry for all the noise in the background um, I got a couple of morons who like to run illegal bikes up and down the road all day and all night in my area. The guy also deals drugs and um, steals motorbikes. He deals in stolen pro property, breaks it down, breaks the, the stolen motorbikes down. Someone comes and collects them. So yeah, um, right moron, if you ask me. Um, guy's never had a job, he's what, about 24 now. So his, his mainstay is um, drug dealing and he's also on on unemployment so a right loser so yeah drives me nuts sometimes because I can't hear myself think especially when I'm trying trying to do these um, live streams it's most annoying him riding up and down and his mates sometimes get six bikes riding up and down, up and down for hours. Uh, it's just ludicrous. And what do the police say? Oh, we can't do anything. Oh, H&S says we can't chase them. If it was
was Australia, the cop has been knocking on his front door every two minutes. You, you tell them, you tell the cop is in Australia, he's drug dealing, they'll have, they'll have a couple of D's sitting up the road, watching his house, and they'll, they'll get him in Australia. Not like over here. Over here, you tell them, oh, he's drug, drug dealing. Where's your proof? It took me nine months to get a drug dealer kicked out of my block of flats. Over here, absolutely pathetic. The guy was throwing sharps out through, through the windows into the back garden. I've got. Sorry, I've got um, a woman with who had a young child upstairs, and I've now got a, a young, uh, uh, sorry, an old couple who look after their grandson. Now, if any of those sharps are still in the backyard, there's a good chance he could find them, step on one, and. Um, yeah, the stuff he was cutting, I don't know what it was, but yeah. I mean, they didn't even analyse it. Any of the shafts, they just put it all in the bin. Came here with a pair of th thick leather, leather gloves, put it in the bin. Not interested on this estate, not interested at all. So yeah, that's that's my rant for the day. <laughs> um, so yeah, but anyway, getting back to this, so that's how easy it is to set up for mining Ravencoin. So as you can see, it's collecting fairly good shares there. Just the latency to the pool is the killer. Um, still, we're up to 14.6 mega hash now. Um, and this, here, your five minute, your one hour, your three hour, your six hour, and your 12 hour, and your 24 hour, 48 hour, will all climb to the same, to about the same level over time as you keep mining. So, yeah, it's quite easy to mine Ravencoin, not hard to set up. Um, most of the miners now, as as you saw, have pre-made batch files. Not like back in the day, you had to um, ask someone. Um, a few of the miners that I know around, like Bitsby Trippin, um, And a few of the others, when I first started out, were a good help for me. Um, watching their videos, there's quite quite a few videos on YouTube on how to mine correctly. I mean, these these are real scripts. These are four real coins. They go to a real wallet. Um, not like oh. My beam wallet is up and running now. So that's my beam wallet. Finally synced up to the blockchain. Um, so the next coin we'll do is beam. So yeah, that's basically Raven coin in the basket. As you can see, I like get plenty of shares with, with two eight gigs. 
and it equates on the pool as well when you're getting 0 0.09 in 10 minutes so next share will come in in about four minutes time and then it'll add up again so so it's got 16 confirmations now I forgot that's the number of confirmations it's gone through um, I think it's got to go through 60 or 50 or 80 confirmations before it's um, matured so yeah so that's Raven Ravencoin in a nutshell um, and that's the pool that I use for mining um, it's quite a good pool um, so yeah so that's Ravencoin in a nutshell so I will go check out another coin now on what's a mine so what's next uh, beams next so beam hash 3 so beam hash 3 is saying a dollar 93 a day that's US so it's less than that so we'll need a receive address for our beam so you want to copy that copy transaction address Sorry, no, you have to copy that address, not the transaction address. My bad. So you'll need a miner for this, and we go to these claim all miners. We go down. I do believe I have a beam set up in G Miner. So we go down to beam here edit it here so we put beam in beam address in here now I don't use fly pool I don't think um, no I don't um, so we'll look stats dot stream and we'll look that up mining pool stats dot stream and we want to So we look at the beam. Now you've got all these pools. Um, so sun pool top. Is a new one. So you click on here. Um, so your host address is this click on copy click, put that in there make 
make sure it's going to work. So you want port number which is 334, copy that. save again and all you do is go back and you double click and it should start up and it does oh, fail to log in oh, public use user key on some pool okay So, public use, public user key, okay, so we've got to get a public user key, so, um, I'm not sure where to get that from um, um, They're saying G minor for NVIDIA cards, low minor for or AIA minor. Um, so AIO AI, AI, AI minor is an all in one minor. So we'll download that one. Uh, and of course, oh, it's not, not up. So we can't do that. We have Lol Miner already. So we have this already in here, 1.11. One one one. So we'll go to Lol Miner in here. This is it. So we've got mine being edit. Um, yeah, um, it's all set up for leaf pool, so we'll just go with leaf pool. Um,
So what you can do is instead of setting it there, sorry about this, my monitor's throwing a wobbly again. So we just copy that from there, put it in here, put your wallet address in here, which for me is this address here, because this is a new wallet, so that goes in there, paste, that in, so file, save. Oh, it's a notepad file. Silly me. Need to save as. This makes it a batch file. Sorry. So we've just made a new batch file for Beam. So now we just click on that. Lol Miner will pull up. Now we're after Leaf Pool. So where's Leaf Pool? Here are miners, um, leaf pools, the top pool. So we go there, put our wallet address in there, click on go, there you go. Um, should be up and running. There it is, submitted to share. I always bring them down here, it's much easier to see them there than it is all the way up to the top. So, we've submitted shares to the pool. Um, As you can see, recommended miner for NVIDIA is G Miner and Low Miner for AMD. Um, so that's basically how hard it is to set up. Not very hard at all. Um, and it's refreshing at the moment um, but mining pool stats dot stream if you're looking for a pool of mineable coins it has every single mineable coin you can think of on here these are only a few of them so all your GPU coins or your ASIC coins all found on here and you can check every single one of them through mining pools stats.stream So it's quite quite easy to set up these once you get used to setting them up um, just make sure your spacing is one space between um, each different section some will have an O uh, dash A make sure there's one single space between them and same with 
the work that you're putting in. So from, yeah, say your algorithm, one space, then the actual algorithm, then your next one will be um, your, pool, your pool and port address. Sometimes they're split. Um, you have to put your pool in, in one and then your port in another one. Um, so you just have to look at what coins you're mining and what what ports and everything like that. Um, luckily, Beam is quite easy to set up. Um, so it's looking up everything so so yeah every every time I get one beam now it's set up so that it will automatically pay one beam. So I've saved that pool now to my 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 um uh, what do you call it down here anyway. So it's in here. into my list so yeah it's not hard to do and we are submitting shares on the pool um, how many shares are we submitting and it tells you the temperatures and the power so GPU zero is the first GPU on your PC or mining rig. GPU one is the second GPU. So as you can see, they're both submitting shares. So one's running at 13.5 souls, the other's running at 9.4 because I'm streaming. So that's understandable and we're still making good shares on it and my monitor wants to play up today um, so yeah it's working things out slowly um, I may just have to refresh the page after if it doesn't show my hash rates shortly um, but it should be alright it should run so they want you up to update to 102 um, I think I'm running low minor one zero so it should be all right um, so there you go that's all if I had to do and we're getting eight point nine souls at present So that's not too bad and that's from t two GPUs um, and we've got 0 0.0072 already unconfirmed balance So yeah, 
it'll it'll continue to rise um, so yeah that's how easy it is to set up beam as well um, which is another one of the top coins to mine at present um, Allahism I find that to mine Allah Allahism um, you need to go to uh, my my ETH my ether wallet and you have to change the pool in there I just converted um, 1500 Ella that I had on stacks at about six pounds six six pounds worth of allism so I converted that over um, so that wasn't bad um, converted that to BTC um, I've got to put some more into stacks so I can withdraw I've got to have 0 0.001 I think which is about 20 pounds worth in stacks so I can withdraw it um, so yeah um, it's only about a pound 93 a day in beam which is Which is a, a lot, I don't think. Um, I'm not sure the price on Beam. We'll go back here and see if it's in this list here. Beam. Um, 40 Beam is worth $9.92. So to here it's saying 46 mega hash uh, now 46 sols which is solutions a second so every hour I should get six cents in beam which is 0.2 so a day you should get 6.2 coins it's about a dollar 55 um, and that's the correct amount for me about a dollar fifty five a day um, so you're looking at one block a week that's nine dollars ninety two um, so it's actually worth worth more to pull mine beam than it is to um, No, it's actually better to um, to actually solo mine one block one block a week. So that's forty beam. That's two hundred a month. Whereas you get one hundred eighty seven point eight four, say eight five. Um, pool mining so it could be better to um, mine beam for me um, solo but I'll wait and see for now but as you can see 0 0.0179 so far and we're getting 17.8 zero so it's saying 72 beam a month monthly 
buy this which is $17.92 and this will go up and down it'll fluctuate um, it's saying two beam a day so yeah mm. and that's because I'm only using two cards to mine it so yeah um, two two beam a day seventeen nine ninety one a month just just running two eight gig cards on here um, so it could be it can be more profitable for me if I put my um, my mining rig on here as well um, so yeah and then I can use if I update to low miner 102 um, then I can use my 4 gig cards at present you can only use 6 and 8 gig cards to mine beam um, because of the difficulty on the on the pool if you get 1.02 1 um, it's got a a algorithm built into it that allows 4 and 3 gig cards to mine beam um, so yeah So 0 0.0185 at the present, still plenty of shares coming in, uh, sorry about the bikes. Bunch of no-hopers. But anyway, and that's how easy it is to mine, mine beam. low miner for AMD cards I don't have any Nvidia cards I've got well I've actually got a one gig AM, uh, one gig Nvidia card but that's that's no good for mining anything um, even two gig cards can't mine anything now um, so yeah back in the day you used to be able to mine Bitcoin with with one one gig card um, going back when um, Bitcoin first started um, bits be tripping um, started out mining Bitcoin back when it first started and he was he was using a one gig graphics card to mine and he was getting about he said about two Bitcoin a day when he first started out mining um, and uh, yeah the first first transaction was actually someone paid a thousand a thousand Bitcoin <coughs> excuse me a thousand Bitcoin for a pizza in the US of A so back then it was worth worth barely anything about two cents two cents a coin when they bought the first the first transaction in Bitcoin took place and it was for a pizza bit of use, useless information for you was a point point two cents it would have been because pizza would be what two three three dollars back then um, so yeah mm. times have changed now it's now now the number one number one coin um, if you hold one Bitcoin you've got ten grand in your hand or thereabouts give or take 
and that's US dollars. Um, so yeah. Um, so they're not they're not hard to set up once you've once you've started mining um, and you've got them got them running so yeah um, anyone have any questions that they want answered that they'd like information on um, or if I covered pretty much most of them um, all yeah oh, I know what I was going to do Zano um, I'll do do Zano um, and show you how to mine Zano as well um, just got to remember where more where my wallet is um, and see if it's synced up um, but Xano is another one that's easy enough to mine it's prog power um, and I've got most most of these I was going to do bit bit cheap as well but it's similar to mining um, beam same sort of setup you need a bit bit cheap cash wallet um, um, and I've got member, member wimble, wimble coin as well that's a mouthful to say for anyone um, and I'll save that for probably during the week sometime um, and I'll put all the links to the descriptions of these with the bat files and everything in the description after the after the show so you'll be able to copy and paste all these across and then all you have to do is change the wallet wallet addresses on each of them and you'll be able to go to the pools and And just um, go from there so yeah we're up to 0 0.02 beam so far so that's not too bad so we're on 23.26 souls so that's not not bad at all so yeah we'll leave beam for now and we'll go take a look at Zana. Zano. So there the pool there's only two pools. So you've got Lucky Pool IO and Fair Fair Pool um, XYZ. So one's in Spain and the other's in Canada so Zano is not on the solo mining list um, but it is on here so and it's saying a dollar dollar fifty two a day on here and that's um, not too bad again um, as you can see the profits and everything are all over the place um, I don't put my electricity costs costs in um, because um, I just don't so we'll go with lucky pool IO so we'll want to how to mine so AMD 
Prog Minor Xano ACLE. Open C uh, Open CLXE. So that's the minor that you need. So you save that. Now I unzip these and put them into where'd that go? disappeared on me or did it yeah it did so I'll close that now so we'll go back over here and see if we can get this to open no it doesn't want to open so we'll open the folder containing it I am guessing that it's been blocked by this yeah it's been blocked by that so I've got to um, Check my notification options. Um, so this is what you have to do sometimes. Turn all this off so you can get... No, it's still blocking it. So it's still being blocked, but I have um, in my claim all miners folder. I think I have this already. Just have to check and see. As you can see, I've got quite a few. There we go. And we've already got it edited I do believe so I set it up for lucky pool IA so we'll have to go there so click on lucky pool So I've already got my address in here, my worker name, it's quite easy to set up again, so this is the prog power miner, Xano open CLE, CL dot exe, so it says open, open CL which is AMD then it says the pull now the pull for this is your address worker name and the pull and port number so that's how this one works so I need to go to my um, wallets, open in a new window, and oh, gone past it. Click on this, and hopefully, this wallets up to date because um, 
I haven't used it for a while and I changed over from um, okay so it's no asking for my master password so I have to do it on my other screen Sorry. existing wallet so I'm going to find find my wallet file now in, in here which is a pain in the neck because um, it's not showing it take me long to do this Notepad as well. And I've got to drag it across here, sorry. For this, um, and now we have our Zeno wallet.
Zano wallet. It's up and ready. All you do is click your wallet address there and you copy and paste it into here. Sorry it took so long. I'm just slightly slow at typing. So file save. So that's all set up now. You can close the wallet file. And we can start. Oh. Okay. So what went wrong there? With that. So we go to how to mine. So it's morning command paste um, working name is Mick. We'll do it the easy way. Difficulty is optional. Uh, TT minor um, Nvidia. So we want this line here. in here file save and with a bit of luck it should work this time no it's still not working title sano luck pool dot ia get it working eventually put it all in file save <coughs> and we'll try again so it starts NA and it's still not working oh, I can't understand this um, so we look at this 
we go for the simple things first. Open CL pull straight on. This should be working, so I'm not sure why it's not. Double check my spacings, make sure that's right. So, um, yeah, not sure what's going on with this. Um, I might try Fairpool and see if I have any better luck with them. change it from this to this and we'll try again and see if we have any more luck and no it's not working um, I don't know what the problem is Sano is not recognised as an internal external command. Okay, so it's just started mining. Hmm. There you go problem solved and we're collecting shares I knew it was easy solved This will give me my mining stats. There you go. Don't know what the problem was, but it seems to have sorted itself out. Um, so we're getting shares on here. As you can see, except the chairs, it's working fine. Um, it'll come up in a minute with the share, share rate and everything. So 
So yeah, um, I'm not sure why it didn't work the first time and then it kicked in and started working. Um, but as you can see, hash rate's climbing up now. showing up on the pool showing my hash rate um, so yeah it's it's working fine just might have been bugged for a minute Seems, seems to be working fine now again you'll want to do what I usually do go to your bookmarks toolbar save it to that it's always handy so you can go back to the pools that you've been mining on um, now I'm also mining Monero as well as everything else that I've been showing you. Um, so Monero is just CPU. So I'm using two threads on, on this PC and two threads on my mining rig to mine Monero. Um, so it's quite easy to mine as you can see I've got 0 0.08 Monero paid out so far and I'm up to 0 0.0087 so far um, since my last payout and all that's been converted into Bitcoin um, And yeah, so that's that's all been converted to Bitcoin at point zero zero eight seven six seven converted to Bitcoin. Um, so that's that's that that's Zano as well. So I'll have all these links in the description after the show. Um, And we seem to be doing quite well. 2.91 mega hash so far. And climbing. 3 mega hash now. So it's saying at present 14 cents a day. Just just running these two. Um, at present. So it's up and down on this algorithm, on this prompt power algorithm. Um, some of these algorithms are six or seven algorithms um, stacked together end to end and that's why your hash rate goes up and down so much on some of these. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, So it's mining fairly reasonably.
again saying 40 cent, 14 cents a day at present and that's just with two um, cards mining it um, now I think with Xano you need at least six gigs six gig card to mine it um, so that's why I'm running my two RX 470s they're both eight gigs so or you can mine with um, your CPU as well so yeah and there's um, the NVIDIA miner as well for prog pair for Xeno um, so yeah that's basically it for today anyone any got any questions like any answers Well, enjoy the rest of your Sunday, everyone. Um, don't work too hard. And I shall see you on Tuesday night with a bit of luck. Have a good weekend. Enjoy what's left of it. Take care during the week, and we'll catch you next time. Bye for now.